Darren, really good to be here at Alitech Precision. You bought this machine, I'm gonna start with this because I have to, as a result of seeing a video that we did uh, for White House Machine Tools with this being in stock, didn't you? So how long has it been here? Um, it's been in the building now just on six months. And, and the interesting thing about yourselves is this was your first five axis machine. The company is only three years old uh, and you ventured into five axis simultaneous machining straight away. Yep, absolutely, so fair old learning curve. And tell us the things about the machine that you liked about it once you saw the video, you went up to see it, because there's, there's a lot of options in 5-axis. We talk about them all the time, but to actually to have this machine here, there must have been some things that really stood out for you. Yeah, sure. I mean, as you said, it's quite overwhelming the amount on the market at the moment. Um, I think for us, in the size of unit we're in, footprint was one factor. Um, we knew because we, we wanted to do a lot of full simultaneous that we wanted to either go with a Siemens or a Heidenheim controller. And ideally, we were looking to get something with linear scales just for accuracy over a long period of time. And was the fact that the machine was readily available ex stock important to you as well? I suppose it's nice to see it, but then to be able to get it quickly too. Um, yeah, initially we weren't quite looking at the time, um, but as things pan out, you know, it was certainly nice that we could get it very quickly rather than having to wait for it to be built to order. And, you, and you're pretty clever guys here because you are doing some very, very nice work, but you still need to kind of uh, get the right backup, the right training and the support, especially when you're venturing into a, to a new technique, call it. Did White House offer you that? Yeah, I mean, White House have been brilliant. Um, you know, it's been pretty problem free on the install. Um, the actual machine setup has been fairly straightforward. Um, all we've really needed them for is we moved the machine two meters that way a couple of weeks ago to put another one in. That's the only real time we've needed to call them. And when you're actually machining parts like this, there's, I mean, it's, you know, this is a fantastically nice looking component. It's not the only one. We're going to see some more in a minute. Yeah. Uh, you obviously need a machine that, that's fast to be able to handle the simultaneous, but to give you the precision and accuracy you need, and also metal removal. Is, is that spinner handling this for you as you would have expected? Um, yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, we're pushing it a little bit on the size of billets we've put in. So when we're roughing a part out, we might have to get the swarf out a bit now and then, um, but once we've got past the roughing phase, we, we quite happily leave this machine running for, you know, 15 hour cycles overnight, never a problem. And there is the, another option with the spinner as well, because you mentioned to me about the machine that you can have with a fixed table and the five axis solution, but you veered away from that in the end and the U620 was, was your selected model. Why was it that you just went for the, for the one table solution? Yeah, sure. So we did initially go to look at a 1530 twin table, as you said. Um, but I think after a bit of reflection on the drive home from viewing the machine, um, again, size of unit, we just decided that it's still only got one spindle. Um, so we're better off putting in the smaller machine and then down the line, we can probably put a second one next to it as opposed to still only having the one spindle turning on a wasted table. And now tell me about this part. How fast are you machining this? What, what, what is it and uh, you know, how long does it take? Um, so yeah, it's a one piece billet intake manifold for the bottom of a quite high end road car. Um, it's quite intensive because there's a lot of fine detailing on it, so they take about 50 hours each um, by the time they're roughed and fully finished. 50 hours, so there's yeah. a lot of, machi lot of machining going on there. Yeah, certainly there's a lot of machining. And do you tend to leave that lights out where you set the machine and then, and then go? Absolutely, yeah. We've, we've got cameras in the workshop so we can keep an eye on it from home. Um, but yeah, not a problem just leaving it. And how easy is it for, for a young guy like you to go from not having a business three years ago to actually starting a company like this? and being successful and doing parts like these uh, for you know, leading manufacturers? Um, I've gone a bit greyer. <laughs> um, certainly it's hard work, but you know, um, yeah, no, it's fine. If you're willing to put the work in, then you can get where you want to go, I think. And as a step into five axis, you, you've got this machine, you've got other three axis machines in the, in the workshop. Would you, would you buy three axis again, or do you think you'd always look to go down, carry on down this sort of path? Um, I think there's always a place for three axis for sure. Um, obviously we have three of those in the building already. Um, I think if we buy another machine, it would be another five because the three axis machines we have can now cater for what we need them to do. But we do find there's quite a big queue to get on this one behind us. So yeah, certainly a second five axis would be a good move for us. And I just want to find out what came with the machine, finally here, Darren. Did you, did, did, did you opt for the probe? Well, it looks like you've got probing in here, you've got through spindle coolant, you've got some, some quite high-end options, I believe. Yeah, so as you said, this was one that we saw through your channel um, when we went to look at it. So as an ex-demo machine, it already had linear scales, it had the through spindle coolant system on there. 
it was prepped for probing, but that's the only additional thing we did add. So we just added the Bloom probe system in as well. So out of 10, give us a scale in terms of whether this was the right decision for you. 10. It's, it's been really good for us. And yeah, the machine's not stopped since the day we put it in, really. So you can't complain at that. Perfect.